What's up guys, my name is Jellycook5 and welcome back to my video on the channel today. Before we get into anything, it would be much appreciated if you're able to hit that subscribe button down below, hit that like button and don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video. Today we're doing a player comparison. So we've got the, obviously the Versus Ice and the Versus Fire promo that's been out for a current few weeks. They bring a new batch of them and this is a new card that they've released. Cody Gakpo then, the Versus Ice and we're going to be comparing with the Fire also. We're going to be talking about how good he is, how good he isn't and and what we need to be able to see in terms of what you would like to purchase if you'd like to go for this card or the fire card every single thing you need to know about the card you will know by the end of the video we're going to start off with the ice card 89 pace and 83 shooting 84 passing 87 dribbling and 81 physical he displays a four star five star with a high medium work rates with a controlled acceleration type off the bat it's a very good card in terms of the able to going to be a winger the other fire card is a striker so there's going to be very different means to where you want and what you want out of the player itself. With that being said, this offers a few more alternative positions compared to the first card initially. This would be able to require a left mid and a right wing kind of role also. So if you weren't originally wanting to play on the left side, you can play him on the right side. In terms of his detailed stats, you can see he's got some decent stats to be honest. Nothing that you can really shout about and go, wow, this is a real amazing card. But in the honesty, this is a card that is a 20,000 coins on the market. So he's not exactly much. And that goes for both of them also. There's not, I think there's, so the ice one is more expensive than the fire. I'm pretty sure if I'm right in saying. But yeah, not, not much in it. I think there's a few thousand coins in it. But in terms of the actual detailed stats, it's a very, very good card though. We can't deny that, that is for sure. He's got high levels of pace as we already mentioned there. Decent finishing levels and you can obviously bump that up with a chemistry style. I applied the Hunter this time round, which includes the pace and the shooting side. So that's a big, big part that we'll look at. Beauty the fact that he had a low shooting stat already. And with the quick step plus, if you can upgrade his pace even more, I felt like it would be a very good attribute to add. In terms of his dribbling, size of his game 89 dribbling you've got there 88 ball control 84 reactions some very very good stats there not a fan of his agility or balance to be honest though I do feel like that should be a bigger part of his game but we'll go into that a bit more detail when we show the bit more of gameplay but overall he's got some decent stats a lot of green on the screen that is for sure and here is his play styles this card displays five play styles. One has a different plus, obviously, but these are the five play styles that he does have. He has the finesse, he has the power shots, he has the technical, and then he has the two on the physical, being one of the Traveller, and then he's plus being the quick step plus. Not bad in terms of the play styles that we can have, depending on what you'd actually like out of your player and winger. I feel like a quick step plus is always good to have on a card. And it's just one of those, it depends what your sort of play style is and so on. Obviously, the other card has a different play style, but we'll get into that further on when we do review that card. But yeah, yeah, it's a very, very good load of play styles. Some handy ones also. The Traveller is always nice to have. The Finesse, if you use the Finesse. And the Power Shot, not something that I use personally, but it could come in handy if you do so yourself. But that being said, let's get into these clips and then let's talk about all about this Cody Gakpo card then. With not knowing what to expect, I felt like I was kind of a bit disappointed at first, but he did grow into the games as I went on. Cody Gakpo displays a lot of pace, and that kind of goes with a quick step plus. I feel like it's obviously a good kind of attribute to have on his card, and it's definitely something that kind of bumps it up also. As you can see on your screen just there, his crossing sides of his game are absolutely phenomenal. He's able to get the ball into the box really, really well, and he displays a decent bit of passing at the same time. I felt like the crossing part with being able to be on a winger at the same time, having a high stat, and that was already good. And look at his dribble. He's able to get the ball so close to his feet there and he just doesn't lose it. I mean, how many times does he want to get pushed off the ball? A lovely goal there from Cody Gakpo. And something like that would kind of puts him onto a good side of being able to be a really, really good card. Being able to have the ball close to your foot, being able to get past the defenders with absolute ease and doing what he does best and scoring goals. But yeah, it was it was an enjoyable card to use. I wouldn't feel like it was a flawless card to use, but in just going through the decent kind of stats that we did have for the de attribute details, I think... In reminds to his dribbling, his ball control and crossing, I feel like it really makes a good winger, don't get me wrong. I played him on the left-hand side. I did actually try him on the right-hand side, don't get me wrong, but I feel like the left did prefer him for whatever reason, I'm not too sure. He's more of an assister. You're not going to get many goals out of this card, that is for sure. You can try, but I don't feel like he puts himself in the positions that being able to allow himself in front of goal. With that being said, he does allow himself in the positions to assist for the goal also. Don't get me wrong, he will score you goals, just not that many, as I say. He is a good good player, and if you kind of have players that run off of him, 
it will work for you, that's for sure. Being able to have someone that's been able to run off the player and being able to assist him is very, very simple in that way. And if you've got players that have got high levels of pace that are able to keep up with him, bearing in mind he's got that quick step plus, then you're going to need that. With being that said though, the quick step plus, I was a little bit disappointed in. He's got 89 pace, so he's already got high pace. I applied a hunter, which applied decent pace to him, but I just don't feel like that quick step plus really, really aligned to it. I'm not too sure I mean, that's EA that they've done over the time where... Obviously, Quick Step Plus was a massive thing at the start of the game where it was moved and used and used and used and where it's the fact of now where maybe it's been a bit nerfed. But I just didn't feel like he was really, really quick. I felt like he was quick, but I didn't feel like he was a point where as soon as he was on the ball, he was beating his defenders. The only part I felt like really, really went into his game was his ball control and his dribbling. I mean, he scores some good goals, don't get me wrong. His finishing stats are very good at the same time and I feel like it's a decent part of his game. He's got a five-star weak foot bearing in mind as well. So it's obviously, if he's on the left or right side, it doesn't matter. So it's at your preference where you'd want him in that sort of area of the field and that's a good part also the four star skills the five star weak foot you kind of set yourself up for a decent winger and for 20,000 coins we're getting a very very good card that's for sure I mean you can't knock it for 20 odd thousand coins what what sort of card on this sort of market is worth that sort of value and gives you them sort of attributes because I don't feel like there's many that do but yeah a decent card overall I did enjoy it but it's one of those and it's, it's a very very hard one to evaluate when it doesn't give you as many attributes this is his fire card then and this is something that did impress me and this is something that I did enjoy using. The card initially has 89 pace, 85 shooting, 79 passing, 85 dribbling and 76 physical. He displays a 5 star, 4 star with a controlled acceleration type. Just mentioning off the bat there, so he's obviously changed his skill moves so instead of a 5 star weak foot he's got a 4 star with a 5 star skills. He's got the same level of pace, he's got better shooting, he's got not as good dribbling but not far off and he's lesser on the physical sides of his game. I never felt like that was a big part of his game anyway where he was pushing players off the ball and he could be some of this big menace in front of goal because that was never about him in his sort of game that he actually possesses on the pitch. This is a very good card though and I'll get in a bit more detail why this is a very good card because it, it shocked me to be honest. It's a cheaper out of the two and it's definitely more enjoyable. You don't get as many alternatives position with this card. You can only play him in the striker role or the centre forward role. So he's pl plainly a striker. Simple as that. I know the other one is a winger but you can either switch him to the left or the right hand side. So you have that bit of variation. These are his detailed stats and this is the bit that gets me where he's 20 odd thousand coins and he's this good. 84 attack and position, 80 fin exit finishing there, 89 shot power, 86 long shot shots he's got decent overall stats in terms of his actual passing and his dribbling stats already and it's just a very very good card to be honest he's not far off of what the actual um stat for the initial the ice card so he's got 86 ball control instead of 88 he's got 87 dribbling instead of 89 i mean it's very very sort of like far off so realistically we're getting a, a same card with one less obviously a different play style a few less on the dribbling and the passing aspects and a better person in front of goal i mean personally I would say that's a better card in my opinion. Obviously, if you want a winger and that's all you want, fair enough. But in terms of the actual striker itself, I want someone that's going to be able to score goals. And this exactly this is exactly that. The winger card doesn't give you that. It gives a more of a kind of assisting role. This card kind of gives a bit of both. He can kind of play off of different other players, but at the same time score goals. These are his play styles though, and then we'll get into the clips and then we'll be able to show you what he can really do on the pitch. As I mentioned previously, they've still got the same amount of playstyles. They've got five playstyles. The only thing that is different is the playstyle plus. They've got every single playstyle the same. This one has the plus on the power shot, and this is where I feel like it's a bit wasted. I'm not one for using power shot. I don't feel like you have enough time to be able to use it. I don't feel like it gives you as much of an advantage. So if I can down talk this card in one way and one way only, I would say it's his play style, and that is the only thing I could mention. If it had a Traveller, then I think it would be perfect, but... That's just me personally of how I play. But with that being said, let's get into these clips and we're going to talk about a bit more in depth of what this card can do. Obviously, with a card being so cheap, you don't actually know how good they're going to be in front of goal. But just watch this straight away. Bang, goal. He knows where the goal is straight away. And the one thing that really, really worked, as much as it wasn't a playstyle plus, was his Travellers. His Travellers are absolutely phenomenal. He uses it with such accuracy and such precision to be able to beat the keeper there. And he just curls so, so perfectly. I mean, it feels like, in some aspects, that it actually is a plus playstyle, the way it actually works with this card. That's how good it is, that's for sure. He gets in such better positions compared to the winger. He allows himself a bit more 
more room and he's got the same level of pace so it's not like he's got more pace than me and now to get in a bit better position he's got the same level of pace and if anything he's actually got a downfall because he hasn't got the plus on the quick step he feels pretty much the same in terms of the pace I can't say that, he, that the other card feels any quicker even with that play style and that's why I was mentioning before why that play style doesn't really work for me and what it actually has this card has so much presence about it, it's unbelievable. I mean, in the time that I actually use this card to be able to get these clips, you realise what he can actually do. His movement is perfect. As soon as you pick up the ball, he's making that run. I mean, a perfect goal there, once again with his Trevor, as I mentioned. Long range, short range, he can do it. Obviously, his passing aspects aren't as good compared to his winger card, but his dribbling, once again there, is so, so good. He holds the ball up well, he battles with players, he does what he needs to do, and he scores goals. And that's what I didn't feel like I had with the winger. I even put him in the striker role at one point to be able to see if he would actually do the same and he just couldn't do it. There was just something about it. I feel like it's the agility or the balance or just something that doesn't really bode well. Don't get me wrong, this card doesn't really possess that much high levels of agility and balance either, but I feel like it works so much better with this card being the role that it is. Being a striker card, being able to get goals, using his trailers, being in the right position at the right time, it just works perfectly for me and just for... I, it, it could be different. It could be completely different and I might just be chatting a load of rubbish and you might be thinking I'm just going to click off this video but if that's the case fair enough but I just I honestly feel like it's such a such a good card I mean we're paying 20,000 coins for this card as soon as you get a chance at goal and you put it on his foot to be able to get the Travellers it is absolutely phenomenal bearing in mind I know he hasn't got five star uh, weak foot but he's still got four stars so he's still got a good chance to be able to put it on the other foot and being able to get a goal there were times don't get me wrong that he didn't have the best of shooting but only 85 shooting isn't going to be the best in terms of the chemistry style I applied the Hawk, that kind of enables a bit of a better kind of attribute on his jumping and so on, and a bit more of an all-rounded look to this card. And it was just it was just an enjoyable card to use. I had fun enjoying the card. And I, I feel like some player reviews that I have to use, I feel like sometimes I don't enjoy it. I do it purely, obviously, because I'm, I'm providing content. But I actually enjoyed using this card, and that was a difference. And it was just such a fun card, such an easy card. And just it was one of those where I would keep on using it again and actually keep it in my club, that's for sure. I'm not too sure on the ice card. I don't think I'd actually use that in that, in that aspect. But compared to the two, they are good cards. I can't doubt that whatsoever. There's no saying that they're not good cards. For the value that you get and what they bring, they are definitely good cards. But if I was to choose one, it'd have to be the fire one. It possesses such better play styles uh, style in terms of being able to get in front of goal, getting the goals that you need. I feel like there's only a few attributes that he's got less compared to the winger card, but in overall it actually adds up to be a better card. And I just, I, it's just such more of an enjoyable card to use. He gets you goals, he's in the right position at the right time, he's still got the same amount of pace, the weak foot doesn't really change an aspect, if you want skills, you can have them because he's got five star. I mean, the, the list could go on. It really, really could. But as I say, overall, I enjoy using this card more and it was a very much an enjoyable card to use. But let me know. Uh, if you have used, used both of these cards and you kind of compared the two and thought what you would actually like, let me know down in the comments below what you'd actually think because I'd love to know. No one is right and wrong in what they say. It's purely due to preference. So please let me know. With that being said, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe for more content just like this one. And don't forget to hit the notification button so you never miss a video. Cheers.